The Pleiades is an open star cluster containing middle-aged, hot B-type stars. It's a young cluster, around about 100 million years old, and one of the best known clusters in the night sky. With the naked eye, if you stare at the Pleiades, that's when things start to get quite interesting because Seven Sisters probably gives away how many stars you're supposed to see there. There's maybe a thousand stars altogether. The ones you can see with the naked eye tend to be, there's well, six pretty bright ones and one which is borderline in terms of where you can see it or not. What tends to happen as you're studying the cluster, it's like your eyesight gets dragged into it and suddenly you start to pick out these other stars. So it's well worth, if you can see them, just having time out and staring at them to see how many you can see. Where things start to get really interesting, though, is when you use a pair of binoculars. I think binoculars really bring out the best of this cluster. The Pleiades is actually quite a bright object. You can see that, as well as all the cluster stars, there's also a lot of material around those stars as well. Naked eye visibility doesn't show it, but if you do the right exposure for the long enough time, you can pick out that nebulosity. The Seven Sisters will, at some point in the near future, become the Six Sisters, because although it won't blow up as a supernova, the biggest one of them is not long for this life. It will kind of fade away pretty soon as a white dwarf star. And so eventually the bright Seven Sisters will become Six and Five and, and, and so on. They will basically all go uh, in, the, in the coming you know, millions of years. It's not going to happen anytime soon. The Seven Sisters in mythology were hounded by Orion. He was after their favours, that's the best way to describe it, and they were getting a bit fed up with Orion's attention. So basically what happened was the gods turned the sisters into doves, and the word Pleiad means doves, and that's why they're up in the night sky. Modern New Age and esoteric spirituality insists that a race known as the Palladians come from this cluster. However, due to the young age of this star cluster and the improbability of alien life developing, let alone developing to a intelligent degree, this idea can be largely discounted. In fact, the implausibility of these stars developing, then forming planets, then having the right conditions to form life, let alone intelligent life, through the long process of evolution, it just makes no good sense.